Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of M. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we wait for Anaman to come here. Uh, because I was looking around with Minsk. Shards, not words! And I found that guy. He's all in red, and I haven't seen him before. So, let's talk to him and uh, confront him about this whole affair. Actually, if I could set up my old party around him, that'd be better. Because this guy, we were so close at the end of last episode, we were so close to him. This guy is, I believe, the guy that uh, kidnapped Tyrity or whatever, the guy that we found buried alive in the, in the graveyard district. So let's have a chat with him. Explain your intent and make it good. What do you want, friend? Can you not see that I am busy here? Well, um... Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, very busy. And so are your clothes. Very vividly red, in fact. What? All right, then. What is it you want? What are you trying to pull here? I know th what you have been up to at the graveyard. Let's talk, shall we? What? What did you, that little weasel tell you? I knew I shouldn't trust him. I had no choice. Them or me. But So, what? Hmm? So you have been kidnapping people and dumping them? That's monstrous. It pays the bills. If you want in, I'll get you a slice. I'm sure we can work something out. Nah, I don't think that's an option. Your plot isn't covered. Only a fool could join. And only a fool will cross my partners. Damn, they're going to kill me. You don't know what they've done to me. Open the doors, boys. I gotta get in. Oh, can I kill you from here? I wonder if I can. Let's do that. And down he goes. Oh, that was very little experience. I don't like that. Let's get the money, though. Let's go inside. I think the door is going to be open because this one used to be closed. And we have... Uh... It timbers bad enough <laughs> without you bothering me. We heard you killing our brethren outside. Damn your filthy blades for cutting that fool down. I'll do you right for that. Not me, Kamitis. Our deal is blown. I'm heading for the hills. Oh, you are. Okay, let me see if I can kill you as well. Probably not. No, actually, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, let's do it a different way. Uh, so let's go with that. Now what you have been up to, no, let him go in. Let's see if that way I can get more people to kill. Because I want that. And especially if I want to kill that guy. I'm sorry, I don't know how we found out. Oh, that ain't why you were mad. You little rock-knowing fool. You were supposed to kill them snacks, not dump them. I, I couldn't, I can't, I, I can't stand for the blood. So drown him! Whack him with a stick! I don't care! What kind of... We have to go, Kamitis. We got company. Not before I kill this little rat stink. Not before. Oh... That's... Even worse. Is he stuck? He's stuck, isn't he? No, he wasn't. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I need to kill the other guy. Let's do this again, then. Explain <laughs> your intent. Uh, let's go with that. Then I just go with all the first ones. And I pause the, the game right there. And I attack him so he dies. And that way I can kill the other two. Uh, I actually didn't know this worked like that. Because I usually always kill this guy. But uh, let me save the game here. And that way I can focus on the other guy. Here. Have I already attacked him right off the bat? And you can see that he hasn't been hit yet. But he's going to be hit pretty soon. No! Oh, are you kidding me? We can't kill him immediately? We might not be able to. And of course, I don't have stop time or anything. Um, let's see if I can cast a spell. What's the cast time of this? Cast time is one. So there, there is a possibility that it works. Do you? Can you... No, he can't because he's so level drained. It's, it's like, it's terrible. Hold person. What's the cast time on that one? That's not going to work. Um, cast time... Yeah, cast time of three. That's not going to work. Uh, so I need you to attack him immediately. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Without you bothering me. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Oh, he might not be killable. I mean, he is. He is if you... They, they usually are, but let's not kill him. Let him go. Let's, let's kill this guy. Committees, you're down. And maybe we're going to know where he's, go where he's going. I don't remember, actually. But this house is a good one for us to steal because it has an upstairs. It has upstairs. Man, this guy's tough. There we go. And uh, let's send Nalia in. And after this, we're gonna sleep actually, um, because we need to. It, it, it's been a it's been a tricky a tricky couple of uh, of days. Uh, there we go. There's nothing for us. Uh, there's no traps here. I mean, uh, it's been a tricky couple tricky couple of days, and Nalia can't can't uh, cast Nox anymore, which is a problem because she's not there. Oh, also I forgot about these. 
Okay, I'll go there. Yeah, we know all these, don't we? Oh, she doesn't know one of these. So, uh, press... Sh no, press control? How do I... Well, somehow it worked. Uh, put it over there. What is that? Oracle? What's that for? Uh, when cast a spell, will cancel all illusion phantom spells of 5th level and lower within the area. This spell affected our reflected image. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we have reflected image, invisibility, mirror image, non-detection, improved invisibility, and shadow door. The caster can control just whom this, effect, the, whom this spell affects. Therefore, it will affect only creatures that are not in the caster's party. This is nice. This is really nice. It's a level 5 spell. Huh. How can I help? This is way better than the stupid purge invisibility or whatever. Uh, and definitely way better than the... Actually, the domination is really nice. Uh, the chaos... The chaos is powerful. What do I have here? Eh, let's not have domination for you. Let's have... Uh, so the breach dispels all that those, and let's have the oracle right there. Eh, there we go. That's pretty good. It's a little bit better. I, I, still, I still need to look at all the things, but uh, so far we're doing well. Um... Stand where you're at, peasant. Who are you? Who's there? What do you vermin wish now? The guard will hear of this outrage. Who? You're not my captors. Who are you? I demand to be freed. Huh, you demand. You do not seem to be in a position to demand anything. I'm a prisoner, not a victim. Answer me. Are you to rescue or are you to ransom me? Um, uh, hmm. I've not decided yet. No answer is also an answer. You are a villain that profiteers off the pain of others. Get out of my sight. I will not look upon my captures. Oh, she's not going to talk to me again? Or you return. Have you come to your senses or do you still intend to hold me here? Yeah, you are free. And uh, apparently I beg your forgiveness. Ah, it has come too late for me to respect you, but I thank you nonetheless. It was to I was to suffer a much grimmer fate in the hands of those others, despite your selfish games. I have nothing to offer you, nor do I think you truly deserve if you it for... No, actually, I do. Because I have a fantastic spell that you don't. It's the Elki. Shut up, you old Stand crook. Stand where you're at, um, peasant. Yeah, I will release. Well, thank you then, she says. I've been in this place too long. No doubt my ransom was on the way, but I begin to doubt they would have released me. Yeah, um, you're probably very close to being killed. I've exposed them, though. Then you have saved me from a grim fate indeed. I have nothing of value on meat for you to repay your kindness, I'm afraid. Oh, I offer my sincere thanks, however. And my and And I and my descendants are in your debt. Farewell. And I gain a little bit of experience right there. I'm not really sure if that affects anything. I hope he... Does, I suppose, because we need to go through the trouble of reloading. Uh, let's see what they have up here. And of course, that was the next victim, I uh, I assume. And we can open these things, which is fantastic. That one is a little bit more problematic. Please, please. Nope, apparently it doesn't work. Let's see if Minsk can do anything here, which probably is not going to be the case, but... Fail to force the lock. Yeah, forcing the locks are just completely... What if I give him f strength? Do I have... He doesn't have... He doesn't have the potions of... Uh, yeah, she doesn't have... We're out of potions here. So, yeah, I'm gonna look for this one. It probably just has money in it. So nothing really... I mean, that one had a short sword. A normal one. So it probably doesn't have anything here, but... Ooh! Ransom note. Let's see what this is. Uh, we will honor your demands in exchange for the release of Lady Elgea, which is the lady that we just freed. Uh, as per your request, I will meet you in the front of the Copper Coronet after light nightfall, and I will bring the ransom. Oh, that's uh, a good thing to know. Uh, so, my... Yeah, this is for quests. That's a good thing to know. We need to go to the slums, but I don't think we're going to do that right now because of terrible things that happen. Just, it's always terrible things that happen. We, I have been... Talking to you. I've been telling you all about those for a little while now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to hang on in there. Uh, what? Why do we have an enemy? Retty? Where the hell are you? He was outside? With vengeance! Or did he get in from here? Is that door? Hmm. Where the hell is Retty? Was he? He wasn't the guy inside, was he? Well, he had, he had boots of. Uh, f oh, actually, armor class versus missile. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's have, um, let's have you be that one. Uh, and Sunstone Jam. Yeah, put it over there. Now, we do need to sleep because of the, it's bad. It's bad. So, let's go in here. I'm too far away to use that. No, I'm not. I can go. What? Oh, this is the weird door. So, yeah, this, why can, why didn't I get in there? I don't remember why I didn't get in here. What is this thing? It's Delasar's Inn. Why didn't I go there? Or did it get locked? 
for some reason. Maybe I forgot. The seas are sure oh, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Well, I'm not gonna get you now. Yeah, must go there. I remember those guys are bad. Yeah, this 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 district is, is pretty bad. We're gonna go to this better inn with less pirates and terrible, deadly enemies that want to kill us. Uh, so I think everything is good for the for the night. No, this is not an inn. This is terrible. This is a terrible place. The Tanner's place. The inn is over here. Man, I I did find it weird that there will be an inn right after another. But you know what it is. You know what it goes. Also, let me sell my stuff before I do anything here, because this guy does sell some stuff or buy some stuff. So um. Thank you all to help to take a look. Okay, let's look at what we have here. The Sun Gem, unfortunately, cannot be sold. Double click there, double click here, double click there. I don't know what the Sun Gem is for. Did it open? I don't think it opened. It ever opened the. Uh, it, it might be just an extra quest item or something. We're gonna keep it there. It should be fine. Get that and all of this. Sapphire. Ooh, nice one. Uh, oh, it's not that expensive, actually. Uh, and get a couple of Andar gems over here, a uh, Yol gem, a couple of Moonstone gems. We're making already 2,400 gold out of this, so things are looking up. Things are looking up. Let's sell that and uh, close that container. Also open this because these are... I'm gonna spell deflection. Yeah, the Oracle... You know what? I sh actually, I think I should keep some of these. I think I should keep some of these, like... Just one monster summoning, reflected image, not really. Uh, minor spell deflection is a nice one, but it's a minor one, so it, if it were the, the better one, I would probably keep it. Uh, so let's just sell these and see how those go. Uh, let's see, Minsk is going to sell everything except for those those things, of course. Uh, sell the sling, flail, all this stuff, and that's actually going to take care of our inventory situation. The scimitar plus one is going to stay right there. Uh, he doesn't sell anything. I really want a plus two, though. Uh, more than anything. Ooh. Oh, yeah, those are the things that I sold. Chaos Blade and Entropy. It's all for him, but he doesn't have those anymore. And a Battle Axe right there. That's good. I can sell the I can sell the uh, Ankag Shell right there. What about potions? So we got Armor Class Zero here, Potion of Defense. That's not a good potion. I'm just going to sell it. Potion of Gi Fire Giant Strength. That's three. That's pretty decent. This one, I don't really know why I would want Intelligence apart from uh, memorizing more spells than I can. So, eh. Sure. Uh, Potion of Stone. I don't want to need that. What about this one? 20. Nope. Frost Giants. 21. Yeah, I got three of the Fire Giants, so I don't care about the other ones. Antidotes. I'm not going to need them. Potion of Mind Focusing. That's Intelligence and Dexterity, so that's a little bit better, but again, it's the same thing. Wisdom. 18. I'm not going to need that. Uh, regeneration. That's definitely not something that I want to use. Although, how long does that last? Three turns? That's a terrible potion. Uh... Fire Breath, oh, those, those are grenades, so those are nice. They don't have a save against them. Yeah, they, they, they're like fireballs, so they're fr very good. Uh, clarity here, prevents fuel mind confusion, that's a really nice potion. Fire Resistance is just, it's good, because it's, uh, you can stack them, which is pretty nice. Insulation here, heal giant strength for 19, that's pathetic. Sell that, and this one is for summons, so let's keep them. Uh, all the rest of the stuff is going to stay where it is, and we're good to go. Let's see, let's see what happens after we sleep. Because uh, we need to do that, and also I wonder, yeah, we're gonna need. To, I wonder if I can. I need to go to the cemetery or the copper coronet to complete the quest that we were in. I demand that we. Stop. Yes, yes, you demand a the lot. Day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. You will see. Oh, actually, let me uh, let me get him uh, a couple more spells, a couple more restorations. So he's got just one. So I'm gonna throw away these because I'm gonna need. Even though they're good, I'm gonna need uh, lesser restorations there. Oh, he doesn't work because he's low level. Yeah. Yeah, because he's de leveled. Hello, I'm gonna need to level him up. Smiling friends. Hello, me good smiling friends. Was is that what he said? Okay. Everything is gonna be fine. We're gonna be able to cast these. I think. Cold wizards aren't appearing. He's fatigued. That's why he's, he demands so much. And I screwed up, actually, because I should have gone for him as a level up, but sure, whatever. Actually, this time around, I'm going to change that a little bit. Uh, we're going to need that and the defensive armor. And we're going to sleep again. I think everything is good. Uh, do we need to identify anything, or is there anything that's... No? Okay, awesome. Uh, see what he has available. Get the rent. Right there. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're safe. 
Okay, you're gonna level you up, although, uh, or you, you're gonna do your thing, although, although, of course, that's gonna take, uh, make him complain. Again, it's fatigued. Lovely. Awesome. Couldn't have asked for more. Oh, well. What can a guy do? Uh, so let's see. I am actually gonna let you have, uh, let's have just one of you there. We're good here. Let's level these guys up. Is that how it goes, or do I need to, or apparently... It were it happened before. I I think I don't know. I think it's only if you unmemorize your stuff or something. Just look at their spell spells because you never know how it goes. I never know how it goes. She's almost level seven there. That's pretty good. I think she can reach it. She, I think she can cast level seven spells for a priest later in the game. Uh, so we're good here. Let's leave. Nothing is going badly. So I'm happy. Nalia. I would ask that you drop this foolishness at once and return to your proper duties. Honor the commitment you made to me. This is Isaiah again. Oh. I made my opinion of you quite clear, Isaiah. I will not change my mind now. Then I have little choice but to forcefully show you the error of your ways, Nalia the Arnese. I place you under arrest by order of the Amnian army. What? You are a danger to yourself and your lands. You have not been thinking straight since you or father died. It is for your own good. Who are you to decide that? By what right? I have every right. I am an officer in the army of a, uh, and a li liaison of the nobility to the nobility. It is my function to see that everyone is well in their proper station. You have demonstrated that you are under some strange influence and I must act to protect you. This is madness. Marcus will stop you. No, we will not. I act with full sanction of the military. Even if you were to type to the, if you were the type to attack guards, you would not survive the result. No, I am simply going to walk away. There is nothing you can do. To attack would mean your death. I am a respected officer. I will risk all manner of death to, death to stop you. There is no risk. It is a, cert a certainty. I am the word of law at this moment. You cannot touch me. This is my will, and you will obey it. Bleat as you must, but Nalia is under arrest. I will secrete her away uh, so that you and your ilk can no longer poison her mind. Don't take it so hard. I am just better than you. Oh, feel free to lodge a complaint to the proper authority. That would be me. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I shall look forward to the time where I will shove my dagger in your face. Bah! Would that we could visit upon the boy the punishment he deserves. If we do anything, we must find proof of his foolishness and ruin him. Okay. Hello there. Kellor? Please, sire, I have words you must hear that are for you alone. I saw what happened, and I share your helplessness. Any complaints about Officer Rowan all must first go through him, so you can imagine how many get through. Yeah, I can. Uh, so, thanks for the happy thoughts. I feel much, no, anyway, um, let's go with this one. Uh, you have expressed your sympathy. Now, what is it you actually want? Oh, this has not come from me, for in, if my indiscretion against Isaiah were to get out, I should be thrown from the military. There is one, uh, one way you get can get to him. Isaiah is quite corrupt and more than willing to exercise his power. You are not monitored as we, so you can do something that I or another guard cannot. Look to the docks and a man named Barg. Examine him and what he does, and you are sure to see what I mean. You might also want to wish to pry into his personal records. They may reveal something of his fondness for gems. I did not tell you this, and I certainly did not say his records are in his house northwest of the main government building in the government district. Should anyone ask, I also, I also wasn't the one who arranged to have the door to Isaiah's estate unbarred. I cannot tell you more. They will question me if we are seen together. Remember, Isaiah values his name over all else. Sully that, and his life is in your hands. I must go. Think on what I've said and bring anything you learn to Korgig Axehand in the government district main building. He is Isaiah's commander. Okay, so we need to go. Uh, we need to go to uh, government building, government district on a uh, house on the northwest. We also need to go. That's I, don't know, I certainly don't say his records are in his home. Uh, but that's a man named Barg. So, so idea, okay, you might also want to pry into his personal records, and the personal records of not the Barg guy, uh, as I initially thought, but of Isaiah. Okay, that's good, that's good. 
Of course, you know, the, the solution to this problem just fell into my lap, but that's okay. I, I love that. Um, and uh, then we will talk to whoever that guy is. But first, we're going to so see the, about this Bark dude. And, uh, of course, we're one guy short, or one girl short, rather. So things are lovely and amazing. And that's the reason why I didn't want to sleep. Because I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. And I couldn't do anything because this is all time-based. And uh, it's at the... At the beginning of the day, as soon as you are outside, you basically get attacked by those guys. So let's get out of here. Let's Lady Diana over there, or Diana, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. And Lord Feveron, or Fevron, or whatever, however, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, save the game here, and let's go to the Docks District. Oh, that's, I don't like being here, because there's a lot of, a lot of quests. So, uh, a lot of things. So let's look around for, what's his name? Borg, or something? Uh, he's gonna be somewhere around. I'm pressing shift here. Well, not shift, tab. Althea, Ruffian, okay, uh, didn't we, oh, we got a couple, these guys, eh, we can kill them, let's do that, should be easy enough, um, and it's a shame that uh, Nelly is gonna not gain the experience, actually it isn't that bad, because as soon as I have Emo in, uh, she's gonna, she, I don't, I'm not gonna need the experience that she has, so we're, we'll, we'll be good for that, uh, as, well, we could actually go with just these five, uh, let's see, so these guys are all very upset with us, which is totally understandable, but I am still gonna kill them all, which is all expected of me. And I can actually, oh yeah, by the way, I got all the items that she has, um, at least, yeah, all the items that she has are over here. This one I have goes, had to drop what I know, you gave me. I know, man. I have only two arms and no more space. And yeah, so apparently, only the weapons got dropped, because I don't see the armor. No, the armor is over here. Yeah, she didn't have armor, did she? Or something. Oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. She does. She did leave her, her stuff with us, so it should be okay. Um, mm -hmm. Get that thug. I don't know who these guys are, by the way. It's just, it's just, it's a terrible place that we're in, and these guys attack us because they're idiots. Clearly, ah, solid idiots. blow. I mean, they they did see Minsk wearing. They, they're idiots. Oh, it's raining now. Hopefully, no, no. What is it now? Uh, and uh, hopefully, she's not gonna talk to us. We have a protection from. I, the light Let's get that. Of the city. <laughs> mm -hmm. It ebbs and flows the same on any plane. Okay, let me save here and let's learn this. Protection from energy. It's a level eight spell. When cast, when this spell is cast, it confers seventy-five percent immunity against all energy attacks, such as fire, cold, acid, magic, and electricity, whether from magical or non-magical sources, such as spells, weapons, hand wands, breath weapons, etc. This excludes any physical attacks and spell-created weapons, such as an enchanted weapons and spiritual hammer. In other words, any physical damage, such as piercing, crushing. Okay, I know about that. Oh, I failed that. That's bad. Let's get that. There we go. 8,000 experience because it's a level 8 spell. So that's pretty good. Let's uh, continue looking around. We got a harlot over there. Uh, let's go with Minsk because we are looking for a brag or whatever his name is. Um, and uh, see if we can find him. This is a place where the Shadow Thieves leave. That's a beggar up there. I demand that we no, stop. no. Come on. The day was not this Bunch of long, rats. Even when I led soldiers in the order. There's nothing here for us. Okay. So I suppose, I think actually, if I remember correctly, he was here uh, from previous playthroughs. I don't think we saw them, or I don't think I, s I mentioned him or saw him or t took note of him before as we got around here. That's Zara and Barg. Oh, that's Barg right there. Oh, yeah, I, he was close by. Uh, so let's see what he has to say or do. Or you said something. Yo ho ho for the lads now at rest. Yo ho ho, so they say. We'll drink for the lads that have sunk to their rest, and we'll drink for the leaving just the same. Oh, my head is barely on my legs today. Too much of the Miller's tail and his damn home brew. Um. I, I, hello, friend. I see you enjoy a drink or two along with, with your fresh sea air. Oh, you, you have that right, sir. Never met a bottle I didn't like. Nothing wrong with that, is there? No, no, it's, I was just wondering who provides it for you. Must must be expensive. Oh, my source is as true with me and my fellows as can be. Nothing under the table there. Simple business arrangement. Of course, the whole matter is not viewed as such by the guards, but it's an honorable trade amidst ourselves. Now, is he a foot bill? He's a right gent. If I be too much fop in the breaches, I want me to um, set up with a job? Sure. What, what is it that you actually do? 
pirating, of course. Oh, and the others will be all quiet about it, but... Uh, but I, I'm right proud. Keeps keeps them merchants on their toes. <laughs> of course, that idea is into other things, too. But me and the boys don't go in for slavery and such. Me? I've never talked to that slaver contact, the Earth. Hey, what do you suppose they pay to get that guard to look at the other way? Uh, well, I... Who's, a, who's the Earth or Dearth? Ah, I don't know. I, I say, must be thousands to overlook it. Whoa, that's a lot. Anyway, I've never ever talked to Dearth, even though I spent hours in the sea's bounty. Ain't even far, ain't even far from here. Want a drink? Uh, well, yeah. Thanks for the help. That's more than I needed. Sea's bounty, huh? Almost more than I know myself. I good travels to you, stranger. Yeah. Barger was drunk and more than well, he didn't actually sound drunk, but that's because I didn't know that he was drunk from the beginning. So we're gonna need to go to the sea something, sea's bounty right there, and see about this dirt dude, or dearth, or whatever. Um, I don't know where this leads to, but I think that the sea bounty is over there. We got harlots all over, in the rain. Got patrons here, ready for a fist fight or something, look at that guy. And I got the hiccups myself. Uh, let's go downstairs, there's nothing here for us. Oh, that actually could be downstairs. Jahira, my darling. So oh. good to see you. Won't you come sit and chat a while? I, I am sorry. Do I know you? You do not remember? Ah, oh, but this is understandable. It has been years since we last spoke. Far too long, really. Uh, forgive me, but I will require a little more information. Your name again? <clears throat> my name is Ployer. Baron Ployer. Of the Kalim Shan Ployers? Come now, you must have some inkling. No, no, I'm terribly sorry, but your face is unfamiliar. Perhaps if you told me what you do? Oh, my name means nothing? Nothing? I'm Barrel Ployer! Ployer, you ruined me! Not remembering is an even greater insult! You are why I destitute today. I am destitute today. You and your harbor kin accused me of breeding slaves in Kalimshan. My business in Athkatla were taken. I was made a pauper, and you do not even remember? Oh, I remember well, but I wanted you to say it, and I wanted others to hear. Quite the outburst, Mr. Ployer. I assume you are still at odds with your new life? You, ye, this, this is the type of insolence I was talking about. It is not enough that you ruin a man, you must also berate him? Mr. Ployer, says Jahira, I wanted you dead instead of merely humiliated. The courts did not seem to think death was warranted, so they claimed your assets instead. That you leave in poverty is gratifying if you must leave at all. I, will I would suggest you change your tone. I am not in a mood for giving charity to old slavers. Haven't lost your fire, I see. Still a harper? This scrawny loud one, too. That fellow Khalid you were once with, the uh, was a better compliment. Is he here as well? He is none of your concern. If you value your teeth, you will not speak that name again. You dirty it. Ah, uh, yes. Very well. How about your companions, Shahira? Do they count themselves among the Arpers as well? Um... Uh... Let's see, I don't know where among the or any other... Mm-hmm... Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm not a member of the Arpers, sir, though I would accept the offer if it were made. Perhaps I should include you in this matter then. But first, Jahira, my dear, I have not found you by accident. You ruined me, slandered my name. Well, the slander is going a bit far. You actually were a slaver, you know? It's not slander if it's proven. That is beside the point. What matters is that you ruined me, and now I'm going to ruin you. Oh. Wh what? Called wizards? Nope. Oh boy. What have you just done, Ployer? Speak! It is my gift to you. You will be slowly destroyed, just as my family was. It is my curse. My nasty, nasty curse. A little something I had made just for you. I may not see your lingering death, but I will smile, knowing it will happen. Tonight, I sleep beneath rags so I could afford this wasting death for you. Nobody made you a slaver, says Jahira. You just loved the Prophet. Now you blame those that caught you because you cannot take responsibility? You are a weak, weak man. Ah, but I am a weak, weak man that will leave while you are a strong woman that will die. Give my regards to Belgrade when you see him. <laughs> oh. She's taking damage already? No, she didn't take damage. She 
did take damage. Where's she going, by the way? I didn't click there. Oh, I think that that was just her. By the horns of Sylvanus, I plant them beneath the stones of ice if I, if I. Are, are you all right, Jahira? You look like a little peaked. No, I I'm fine. I just felt a little strange for a moment. That that fat excuse for a slaver is cursed me. Damn him! Oh, I. Uh. Are there harpers at my help? I I I hear Helmster is a member. Honest, honestly, with friends like that, I don't know. No, let's not go with that. That was actually. It's, it, let's go. Uh, what can be done? We could track him down and demand he remove it. That may be my only option, she says. If it was tailored for me, I might resist. It might resist removal by normal mo means. I doubt Ployer would have done this if the solution were simple. Yeah, I, I guess. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Then, then we should find this Ployer immediately. Any thoughts on where to look? I have a few options, she says. Ployer mentioned that he lived in a, in squalor, suggesting he may be in the poor section of the city. Not likely to find him quick, though. The mages with him were odd colors that might be traceable. Ask at the government building, as all magic is regulated in Athkatla, if they will talk. He also mentions Belgrade, a merchant that helped expose Ployer. He frequents the Copper Coronet, and the bartender Bernard might know his whereabouts. Okay, um, let's see. Then we shall begin searching the slums as soon as possible. Very well, though I should like to try and find Belgrade eventually. It has been... <coughs> it has been some time since we talked. Okay, unfortunately... Oh, we found dearth. Okay, so I was gonna say, unfortunately, we didn't find what we were looking for, but we have. So we're gonna need to be very careful with that quest. We're gonna actually go there immediately. That is a curse, um, and she will die in, I think, seven days if we don't do this. But she will tell you in advance, so we should be okay. Ooh, look at the time. We're out of time for the day, so we're gonna deal with dearth uh, on the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been... Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Amn. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.